the time to give your heart. Come, just as you are to worship. Come, just as you are before your God. Come, when they tongue will confess you are God. One day every knee will bow. Still the greatest treasure remains for those who gladly choose you now. Come, now is the time to worship. Is the time to give your heart. Come, just as you are to worship. Come, just as you are before your God. Come, when they every time. Confess you are God when they every knee will bow. Still the greatest treasure remains for those who gladly choose you now. One day every tongue will confess you are God. One day every knee will bow. Still the greatest treasure remains for those who gladly choose you now. Come, now is the time to worship. Come, now is the time to give your heart. Come, just as you are to worship. Just as you are before your God. Today is Sunday, and we are not at church, we are at home. We are sitting in front of our computers, waiting for the morning message to start streaming from the internet to YouTube. Separate but together, in one accord, Raising our voices to sing praises and to give you the glory, Lord. When can we go back to church so that we can worship together? Lord, you have said that when two or more gather together, you are in our midst. We are here, Lord, and you are with us. You are in our heart, you are in our mind, you are in our homes. You bring us together. We thank you. I will give you all the praises and glory, Lord. I would like to pray for our church, for our church building to complete soon, for our church elders, our church family, our church brothers and sisters. I'd like to pray for those you have put in the position of government because this is a time where there are a lot of tough choices to be made. May you give them the wisdom, Lord. I want to pray for those who are sick. Pray for those who lost their job. And Lord, there are a lot of people out there with needs that not even I know about. But you do. I want to put all these people in your hands, Lord. Knowing that you are the living God. The one true God. The one who knows everything. The one who created us the one who are our healer, the one who only know, the one who wanted what's best for us. In the storm, the best place is with you, and you are our refuge, Lord. Thank you for all this that you've done for us, for watching over us, for keeping us safe. Even in times like this, I know and I can see more than ever 
Your hands is in everything and you are our sovereign Lord. We thank you, we praise you, we give you all the glory, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Every day is a new day. 
every day is a blessing. And this is just one of the blessings of the more than 10,000 blessings that we want to sing and praise you for. Whatever may come, whatever may pass, the name of the Lord shall be blessed. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless His holy name. Lord, we want to thank you. You are seated on the throne. Whether we be with people around us singing praises and worship to you, or we are doing it on our own, individually, Lord, your name shall be lifted on high. There's a lot of reasons, yes, we acknowledge there's a lot of reasons that would hold us from thanking you, but there's more than 10,000 reasons that we can think of that we should bless your name. Whatever it is that is in our hearts is not enough to keep us from praising your name. Thank you, Lord. You gave up yourself for us, and now is the time that we live for you. As we are still in this world, at times moaning and groaning, Lord, we want to thank and praise you still. No one can pluck us from your hand. Lord, from the first day of our, from our first breath to our last breath, our Lord is in control. Thank you, Jesus. We want to praise your holy name. In Jesus' name, amen.
So far removed his wrath and his mercies are new each day. For from him and through him and to him are all things. To him be glory forevermore. To Father, we want to take this time to pray to you. We thank you that we have this moment where we can talk to you so freely and simply express our appreciation for all that you've done. Lord, we thank you that we have this gift of time. We have the blessings that you've bestowed. But most importantly, Lord, we have this great salvation. Thank you for sending your son, Jesus Christ, to the cross to die for our sins so that we can be restored to you. Thank you that you create us with meaning and purpose and you give us hope through your son, Jesus Christ. Lord, we know that we are sinners saved by grace and we don't take it for granted. And we know we continue to sin, to do wrong things to have pride and we lack love and so we ask you for your forgiveness we pray that you would help us see beyond ourselves shift focus off of ourselves off of this world and the temporal things of this world and into eternity help us to understand your word so we know what your will for us is and to have that obedience empowered by the Holy Spirit to do the right thing and to share this great gospel message with those we love. We continue to pray for them, especially during this time. Lord, we are, as we continue to read your word um, and meditate on it, we recognize that you are all wise, all powerful God. And when we recall the lyrics of the Roman doxology, the depth of the riches, the wisdom of God, how unsearchable are his ways, how profound are his judgments, so high above our thoughts, and his pathways no man can trace. As a result, we can only, we want to, Say, for from him and through him and to him are all things. To him be glory forevermore. To him be glory forever. Amen, amen, and amen. Lord, we want to give you glory with our words, with our actions, with our lives. Continue, Lord, to draw us to you and help us to pursue you. For in it, is meaning and life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. It is your Fullness of God, you wrestle with the sinner's heart, you lead us by still waters into mercy, and nothing can keep us apart. So remember your people, remember your children, remember your promise of God. Your grace is enough, your grace is enough, your grace is enough. 
your love and justice, God. You use the weak to lead the strong. You lead us in the song of your salvation. And all your people sing along So remember your people Remember your children Remember your promise, oh God Your grace is enough Remember your promise, oh God.